Well, the 2020 census will mean changes for the state's political maps. The redistricting process is underway, and tonight the redistricting roadshow made its way to Lafayette, where the public had a chance to provide some input. Amon Boyd has the story. Riley, the first assistant secretary of the Senate, who will begin the presentation. Legislators throughout the state and here in Acadiana hosted constituents at UL Lafayette as part of their redistricting road trip. Data from the 2020 census shows that St. Mary, Acadia, and Iberia parishes declined, leaving them vulnerable to possible changes in the state legislature. We had one from St. Mary, we had one from Iberia and St. Mary. That's fair and equal representation, just like our government was supposed to be set out to do. There's proposed discussions about cutting up Iberia and St. Martin Parish, chopping it up to the east, St. Mary Parish, to the west, Lafayette Parish. What are the reasons for this? Population. It's just part of the political process. But I can tell you the population of Iberia and St. Martin Parish is 120,000 people, ideally and perfectly suited for a Senate district. Why change it? The Senate District 22 has 120,000 people in it. You need 120,000 people to, to have a Senate district, and uh, we just want to remain as we are. We want to remain a, a district that's St. Martin and Iberia centric. As for other Acadiana parishes, Lafayette has increased population. Over the last two decades, it's grown by over 40,000 people. It's good that Lafayette's growing. It's difficult in the redistricting process because that means that the Constitution requires that all districts be equal in population. So that means I have to, uh, in my district, lose some population to other districts that are neighboring. The legislator will continue the road trip through mid-January with redistricting sessions immediately following. In Lafayette, Mon Boyd, KTC TV3.